But I think not. I think more people concentrated on the submerged part. <gasps> that was a good jump scare. Let's play Sisters. Hello and welcome to Hula New Plays Short Any Horror Games. And currently, apparently, Hula New Plays Summer of Shivers Game Jam Horror Games. Um, this game drew me because of the title because all the other games or a lot of the other games have those you know Cthulhu Lovecraftian underwater sea blah blah bloop um, titles and this is so completely different sisters after struggling with this office grind for several years Lydia has finally saved enough money to buy a small piece of land in the Caribbean where the rest of her family are located that's it that's the info and I'm like What's going on there? What will happen? I want to find out. So uh, let's dive right in. Without further ado. Ooh. <laughs> Always love this. Okay. Hey. Hey Lydia, I'm just calling to make sure that you're already on your way towards your sister. You know, you promised to pick her up today, so I hope that you haven't forgotten that. Oh, okay. Let's go and pick her up now, will you? We can talk later when you're both here. Take care, and I hope to see both of you later tonight. Yay! Voiceover for a game jam! Kudos, that's always cool. Also, I can take this. I picked up the soda. It's the Game Jam soda. I don't know. <sighs> it's the Summer of Shivers Game Jam. Do I want to drink that soda? Ooh, it's like a taste of... Nope. Don't want to get... Right click to turn on or flashlight. Bloop, bloop. Okay. What do I need the cooler for? What is this? What is this? Oh, that's for the boat. That's how you haul them in, I think. My dad has a boat and it's quite a hassle because you have to get them out when it... I mean, I don't know if how it is in the Caribbean. But in Germany you have to haul them out um, before it gets too cold because then otherwise uh, the wood and everything gets damaged with the intense cold. Especially when it's freezing and then you have to spend a lot of time getting the boat fixed which he can do he's a carpenter he's amazing but um, still a lot of work so you know so that's why you need those cranes okay let's why can't I go to my car did I miss something do I need to Oh, I don't take the car. <sighs> Am I not supposed to take the car? Whoa! Okay. That's nice. Oh. 11.15. Lydia's picked up her sister and both of them are heading towards their dad. Okay. Oh, hi, Lydia. You look super young. What's up? Okay. Are you talking about me? You know about me, right? I can't move. Hey. Can we stay this way? Just you and me. I'm not Lydia. Talking about me. But also, I'm kind of weird. I... I don't know. Whoa! So she's the outgoing one. Maybe even... Dad likes her a little bit more, or we think. Uh. I 
can't move, by the way. Holy shit, what's going on? This is... <laughs> Lydia, oh Lydia. We gotta find our sister. What is this? That's a fish. Tasty fish? No snack? Okay, well. Your loss, Lydia. Okay, we can't go there. Oh, 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 I guess. Okay. So far, I really like it because it's kind of unusual. Because a lot of games are like, you have to do something deep down the sea, you have to explore something, there's a station or something to repair. Which, I'm not knocking that, you know, I enjoyed pretty much all the games I played for this game jam. But this is really decidedly different. Oh. So, I don't know much about... Um, Folkloristic, cultural, and religious traditions in the Caribbean. I think it's a real m melting pot of different influences. Oh. Okay. What's that? Trash. As usual when I ask this. Is there anything on the... Sh no, there's nothing. Damn. Kind of like it. It's spooky. Look, like, I wish I knew, they look a little bit like the statues on the Easter Islands, but maybe they're also different. Yeah, but if I would stumble upon this, I wouldn't know whether it's for protection, you know, like good, um, good gods or helpers. Or, you know, more of a warning. Who puts a bed in here? Okay. Is that something? No, this is just... Huh. And who sits there and watches the person? Oh, that's kind of creepy. It's more of that stuff that was on the bed. Oh, okay. Um. There we go. Just do it again. And once more, that was a fox. There's a f there are foxes in the Caribbean. I did not know that. Oh yeah, I also I read that apparently it's not just this submechophobia. That's part of the GM, but also public announcements. Hmm. But I think not. I think more people. Concentrated on the submerged part. <gasps> that was a good jump scare. I usually I'm not the biggest fan of jump scares, but this was good because there that was yeah, because that was not something like coming at me. This was just me seeing something for a fracture. I didn't even know what I was seeing, but it was creepy. Also this again. So this is not good. I think that was on the bed, and on the walls, and now it's here. Oh, I like this. This is really... It makes me so uncomfortable, which is good. That's what a game is supposed to do. Oh wait, a horror game. Okay, can't go there. Can I do that here something? Um, no? Oh! oh. I get... yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't even have my flashlight in my hands anymore. <laughs> also, the reason to be in this creepy place is a good one because we are looking for our sister. So many games, you know, where you just where your protagonist just someone on the toilet. That's not that's not super scary, I guess. I mean. I mean, if I had to clean this, that would be super scary, because, ew, you know. <laughs> oh, look at this. 
Excuse me? Who puts that in the toilet? This seems disrespectful to this crystal. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, mannequin? Oh no, come on. Yeah, the noise was better than the mannequin. Hmm. That is boring. Oh, I don't wanna. Oh, this opened. Uh, oh! Wait a minute. Who, who was here? Oh! Ew. This is good. I really... Ugh. <sighs> Why the mannequins? What is it with horror game developers and mannequins? I tell you what, they're actually, most of the time, not that creepy. You know, they're really not. There's, there's quite, I think, you know, I don't know. I think there was a game jam that was like, please no elevators and no um, hospitals or whatever. But I think it could just as well be, please don't, no mannequins. <laughs> it should be a rule by now not to have mannequins in the, in the games. Because they rarely really have the effect that they are supposed to have. Because most of the time it doesn't even make sense that they are there. Because why would this facility have a mannequin? In a theater or in a in a like in a shop, I would get it. Ooh. Oh god, I hate everything about this. Am I in the- <gasps> Shit. Holy shit. But I can't- But I tell you what, that was- That was amazing. That what the way I basically did I just back out of the water like panicked? Is this something back down there? Oh, this is good. It's really, yeah. Like yeah, I had talked. I, I talked a lot about the mannequin, but this is a good game. It's, I really enjoy this. Oh, that's. Oh God. Honey! Oh, golden stag. Oh. Picked up shotgun? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this got real! What? Oh! Holy mother! Ch Jesus! Okay, so this does not work. I have to go around. Him. What's my sister's name again? I forgot. Anna? This is bad again. Ugh. Like, why? No, don't. You have so cool. You have really cool things. Like, this is kind of creepy, and the statues are cool. You don't need the mannequins. They're not necessary. Also, I don't want to go through this... ...thing. No? Okay. Hmm. Do I have to do something here? By the way, is this the where I was before? Or is this something different? What just happened? Did I lose? I lost my shotgun. Oh, that's not. I don't. Oh 
no, I'm stuck. Oh god, no. No. Oh shit, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? That is uh, curious. I have to... Oh, maybe this one. No? Oh. Also, I lost my shotgun and also my light. Am I supposed to walk back into the water? Oh my god, yes. Why? Ugh. Okay, please don't drown. Is that... Wait, is that a hospital gurney? What's... Oh! Ooh. Take that in for for a second. Ugh. That would really creep me out because those look like gravestones. Did my sister die? Wake up! Oh, I died. Oh, not again. <laughs> Can't move, by the way. Ew! What is? Th Did I die? Maybe? Maybe we had an actual accident and the last parts were just my nightmare before dying or whatever because the whole her saying wake up just and we saw the hospital gurney so that feels like we are somewhere in limbo Hmm, not sure about the ending, but overall I really like this because this was somewhat weird, but in a really nice way. What I also have to say, um, the, the scenes, the way this was told and the perspectives of the scenes, some of those were so cinematic and it's really funny and fun um, to see that in a game, you know, that's not like a triple A game. Um, but still works with like when we were on the beach and we couldn't move we were just lying there and we just saw the water and we heard the vibration of the monster or whatever carrying our sister away and then also that I thought that was awesome we were underwater and then we kind of were hurled out of the water um, onto the land like we were just you know just so panicked and just trying to get out of the water as fast as possible that I thought was really cool um, I don't see that very often in like super short indie horror games so I really appreciated this also voice over super cool <laughs> and it was good you know it was it was really good there were emotions in it um, especially the two sisters voices were really cool uh, they were very well done um, and I think that we, that something happened to us. And maybe that underwater thing was always going like back into a coma or whatever. But yeah, what do I know? Do you have any, if you have any theories what actually happened in this game, you can tell me in the comments. Also, you know, if you're the developer, you're very welcome to tell me in the comments. Um, I will put the link to this game in the liner notes so you can play it yourself and give some love to the developers. And um, if you want to, you can also subscribe to my channel. And I promise you, I will not bump into the boat when you're actually on your way together with your sister to meet your dad because I don't want to be the reason why you miss out on a cool evening with dad and your sister that I wouldn't do that you know and if I would accidentally bump into you and then you fall into the water I would be like okay let's come back on the back of me because apparently I'm a big sea monster you know and that's just right to where you want to go yeah, so subscribe I guess <laughs> other than that I hope you had a good time I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon bye bye, -bye.
This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.